Hello everybody, today I'm going to be making a highly requested tutorial because everybody's been asking me how I've decorated my te uh, template and uh, I, I feel like I haven't really been saying it but I use paint.net for everything I do basically. It's just like my favorite program even though it lags really bad and everything. But yeah, so some of my controls might be different from yours but I'm sure you can find like some of their controls. <laughs> So what I have here is uh, your basic template. Make sure like this area is transparent, you know. I just put gray behind so you can see. And I uh, have my outline of it because I tend to outline, you know, the parts that I'm working with. Then I have it turned black. Um, another tip I haven't really gone over much is how to go from a neutral color to a colored color. So we're gonna turn this black to be gray, and it works with uh, white as well. You just do the opposite and make it gray. And then you're gonna go to sepia because that adds color. Then turn up your saturation to 200, and depending on how vibrant you want it, like you can probably go in again. I'm gonna be doing a blue because I think I'm gonna do a little sky background. Um, my last template was made from like images and stuff off of uh, Pinterest. But this one, I think I'm probably going to be doing, like, custom images. So, yeah. Um, the temp- the- not the template, the font I had on my template, right? A lot of people have been asking me about it. I have literally no idea where it comes from. All I know is that it's probably a Discord emote pack and it's called the Deco Den Cake font. Uh, one of my friends sent it to me in a group chat and all I have is like a tiny PNG image of it So it's kind of hard to work with and depending on how big you want it to be. It'll be a little hard So yeah, we're gonna start with this make sure everything's cut out uh, in the transparent areas and now I'm just gonna start decorating it um, I think I'm gonna put a lace border around that. So let me draw this up real quick. I'll be right back uh, Make sure it is not where it's supposed to be transparent. So just cut that out. And now you have that. Um, let's see, how would this look if I made it more pink? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I'm back with a font. This actually took kind of a long time. Um, for this font, now let me save this real quick so I don't lose it. Um, this font was actually made with another font because I didn't really want to, you know, draw everything from 100% scratch. So instead I edited a font. Uh, this is the font I use. It's called Clap Happy on Font Generator. I will probably link it in the description. Um, what I did is I changed it to pink and I used our morphology to dilate it and stuff. And when you use morphology, you also need to make sure you don't lose these round edges, so I had to go back and draw it in. Uh, the reason why this took so long though is because I had to draw the outline because I like it was coming out so square since of, since how much I used morphology. But anyway, after that, I just took you know these white stripes and I overlay not overlay just put it on normal you know, over the pink, and I added, like, you know, a little white shine, a little bevel. Um, honestly, if you have the bevel plugin, you could use that. I used, uh, white for the light and pink for the dark, but you could also draw it in, because bevel usually messes up letters. So, yeah, and then I just added sparkles, you know. Alright, but now we'll put this onto our template. Um, one second. Okay, so if you see here on my old template, I have everything labeled backwards. This is because when you're moving to the back of like the arm or something, the back of the arm for the left side is actually on the right and vice versa for the left. So I'm going to be labeling it backwards like that again just to help myself. And we'll put this on here. Uh, let's see what size. Alright, we're gonna move. 
Okay, and we'll make that uh, height 80. So we'll open this in a new one. Have this saved here, and then we'll change the V size. Maintain aspect ratio so it doesn't become pixelated. And put this at 80 for the height. If you look at the bottom corner, bottom right corner, you can see it says the size. Oops, let me delete this. And we'll put this here. Being caught up here, so I'll be right back. <laughs> to be honest, I think I went a little overboard and got carried away with drawing. Um, I ended up drawing a sleeping cat, and then I drew bowls next to it, and then I ended up drawing a cat here and a collar and everything. Okay. Um, I don't think everybody wants to draw their stuff, so I'm gonna grab a picture real quick. Um, by the way, I think the animals that were on my old template, they're called like cow mochis or something. They're all over Pinterest. I'll show you how to get them on a template real quick. So let me get a picture. Okay, so I have this picture real quick. I'm going to take this. I'm not actually going to put it on my template though because I realized I want to do my own drawings. My own little cats and stuff. So we're going to select all around this. Um, I don't want to keep the words. Anyway, I'm gonna go all the way up here. Yeah, look how much I have. So many layers now. Resize this a little. And you're gonna turn your brush width up to like 15 maybe for this. And then turn the old I mean the hardness down. And then just go around it. It'll be like, you'll have to erase more or less depending on the color of the background of this image, like the image you take and then the background of your template, but for this one, it should be pretty easy. If your color is similar to the background of like this, then you're fine. Sometimes I also tend to take like the entire image itself, like I did for my last template, and then I just pasted it on. So what you do for that is you paste it. Uh, I'll just do like this. Yeah, I'm not actually going to keep it like this though, but... Okay, and then you go to the select tool like uh, Magic Wand. <coughs> then so, uh, cl click Add. Select all of these in here. Hit Delete. Now you have this. Anyway, I'm going to go back to drawing this. And yeah. Okay, to be honest... I'm sorry, I sniffle every single time I unpause. Uh, I should probably show how I'm drawing these for the people who want to know. Uh, I just drew a mousey right here. So I'm taking like the brown color from uh, you see right here. It's like slightly different from the outline. It's like a little bit darker, you see over here. And I'm just drawing. Uh, let me look up a reference for a hand. So I think I'm gonna do a hand out here. One second. Okay, I found the reference. Uh, since it's a hand, I'm gonna sketch first because I'm like so bad at it. I'm doing hands.
Okay, peoples. I I just sniffled again after I'm pausing. Okay. Um. Yeah. I drew a cat jungle gym. And uh, put paw prints and fishies everywhere and stuff. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna put some more paw prints everywhere. Let's see. Under a paw. Just draw it like this. This brush might be too big. I don't know. Kind of like an upside down heart, and then you go one, two, three, four. So cute. And I'm gonna flip it horizontally. Okay. Oh, that was the horizontal. So it just looks like a little path that Kitty took. Up the side. Um, yeah. I'm gonna make this smaller. And space these up a little more. Okay, my stomach is growling. I need to eat. But, uh, let me just finish this up. Just add the cute little things, you know, that fit your style. <laughs> like if you're doing a dog, you could do like dog bones and stuff, and also a collar, and like little doggy treats, and their toys, you know. If you're doing strawberries, you could do like strawberries everywhere, maybe a little rainbow clouds in the background, so. Is this since I'm doing cats? I did, you know, cat ears, you know, going for pets, little cardboard box, their cat, cat bed, jungle gym, and uh, you know, bowl of water, sleeping cat, playing cat. So, yeah, um, peace out, guys. Remember to join my group and like, comment, subscribe, whatever. I'll be linking uh, the font I used to make this in the bottom, but remember, you have to uh, thicken it and then, you know, put stripes and everything and draw highlights and everything. So yeah, okay, bye-bye!